killer. What's going on guys, it's Gamer here, bringing you another Boruto episode review. But today we're reviewing episode 21, titled Sasuke and Savarda. And... Wow, was the art style of the animation not the best? Honestly, it was probably really poor, very dull. Kind of seemed like they were being la very lazy about the animation and the art style kind of disappointed me uh the writing was was okay i guess overall uh there are some parts where it's like sasuke sasuke is in the episode of course because of what happened in last week's episode but there were there was a, a moment when sasuke wasn't very like sasuke-esque you know he didn't he seemed a little bit out of character but i i can kind of let it pass i guess because because other than that, Sasuke basically, you know, kind of carried the episode for, like, the quality of the episode. Uh, the first, like, two fucking minutes is literally just a recap of what happened in, like, the past couple weeks. Uh, with Sawada wanting to, you know, fucking find her dad. And, that, like I said, that was literally, like, I saw, like, two minutes of the episode. The episode comes back to, uh, Shizune meeting up with Sa uh, Sakura in the hospital because she's still there. And basically, Shizune is telling Sakura, like, yeah, Sarada kind of left the village because she found the fucking picture of Sasuke and with his Taka buddies and stuff like that. And then, I still don't understand, I still don't understand why Sa Sakura was like, I'm gonna use this picture of Sasuke because I don't, I don't know. So we get we get back to the scene with Sasuke and Sarada and the fucking t temple, I guess you can call it that. Sasuke is about to fucking attack his own kid without remembering what the fuck she looked like, right? And then Sa uh, Sa Sarada was like, "Yo, Dad, stop! What are you doing, man?" And Sasuke's like, "Oh, Sarada, is that you?" And then she's like, "Yeah." And he's like, oh, I, I you probably should have said something sooner because you, you would you would have died. Yeah. Naruto shows up. He's like, what the fuck's going on? Sasuke's like, why the hell did you bring people here? And then Chocho's just being Chocho in the fucking episode. Uh, Chocho, she seems, she seems always so out of place in these episodes. Like, uh, I, I haven't read... The Naruto Gaiden, so I don't know, like what the hell she actually even does, but you know, if she's even in there. But it's like she seems she seems so out of place, especially in this episode. She's kind of just there because she's Sarada's friend. But other than that, I'm just like, why? <laughs> so Sarada is like telling Sasuke, like I I wanted to fucking find you because you're never home, and who's this chick in the fucking picture? I want to know, is is Sakura my mom or not? Is she my real mom or not? And then Sasuke is like, it doesn't fucking concern you. And then Sawada just goes and leaves the fucking temple or, or whatever you can call it. And just cries and fucking is like, whatever! And then I'm just like, oh. Well, you, you could have you just asked him what the whole big fucking deal was, why you weren't fucking here. But no, I guess he kind of had to just go and cry about it. I guess. So, she leaves. She's fucking, like, sad because... Whatever, right? And then we get a flashback of Naruto and Sasuke talking. And the, the reason why Sasuke isn't always around, or he's never really around most of the time, because, you know, there could still be potential traces of Kaguya kind of just around or people related to her like Momoshiki and just yeah he's kind of just saying like yo just tell everybody it's a top secret mission and don't let anyone fucking know Naruto's like why don't you tell your fucking kid and he's like nah that's okay she would only get more anxiety 
We get a shot of, I guess, so Sakura leaving to go fucking find her kid. She's not home. And then uh, Shin, like, like, uh, like Papa Shin, I guess, the the big one with the multiple sh multiple sharing gun on like his arm. That I guess because you can see that he has multiple on his arm and then multiple on his head. He decides to go and leave, attack Sasuke and Naruto. Uh, his visual prowess is literally being able to control weapons and shit, but yet he somehow was able to inflict damage on Naruto and was able and because of that he was able to inflict damage on Sasuke because fucking reasons I and then fucking Sakura comes out of nowhere and then fucking bodies Shin into the fucking ground and uh, I could continue on but I almost really don't wanna because the episode was <sighs> It was written kind of differently. I I think it could have been written a, diff a, a couple different ways depending on the circumstances and the characters, of course. And then not only that, but the animation wasn't amazing either. There's a little fucking creature thing with the fucking. <laughs> this is literally the best version of Shin, but like there's this little like hand looking thing. I'm gonna throw an image on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. I don't really know what the fuck it is. But he then uses some kind of teleportation jutsu with his uh, with his sharing gun or his eye or whatever. I, I I've never seen anything like that before. It it's completely original, of course, and we've never seen it. And I, I want to know what the fuck it's called. Uh, just uh, I don't know. We just we just never seen it before. Originality. Studio Perriot is so original. And fucking all this other shit. I, I, whatever. <laughs> Uh, whatever. I'm, I'm gonna fucking end this really crap shit review video because at this point I'm just laughing about how, you know, bad pretty much the animation was and the art style. Like overall, the episode wasn't, you know, it wasn't that bad. I'm making it sound a lot worse than it actually is, but it's still like kind of pretty bad considering what, uh, what what was happening in the last couple weeks or so but whatever right anyways I, I want to end off the video just saying that uh, yesterday's video uh, you know I'm gonna keep that up I'm gonna keep the video up uh, if you haven't seen it it's gonna it's gonna be uh, most likely linked down in the description and if it's not uh, there will be videos on the screen that you can touch uh, with with mobile devices and obviously with your mouse on the computer so it will take you straight to the video uh, I'm gonna keep the video up because even though I'm, I may potentially see some hate if the video ends up blowing up but it's whatever and I also want to say that there is a hurricane possibly coming tomorrow where I live so yeah I'm about to get hit by fucking Hurricane Harvey I guess so that's that's fucking nifty <laughs> so, uh, I, I might not be able to see tomorrow's uh, Dragon Ball Super episode, and depending if our power may or may not, maybe maybe potentially get knocked out, you may not see a video from me uh, the next uh, either Sunday or Monday because that's usually when I like to upload my super reviews either on Sunday and if I can't do it on Sunday then Monday. So if you don't see videos on these two days, just know that it's probably because my power got knocked out, and I hope you guys understand that. Anyways, I'm going to end the video off here. I'm rambling. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you later.